Simply Chinooks are fawn winds in the interior west of North America, where the Canadian prairies and Great Plains meet oh various God. mountain ranges. Although the drink. original usage is in reference to wet, <laughs> warm coastal winds in the Pacific Northwest, hmm. Chinook is claimed by popular folk etymology to mean ice eater. However, in the name of the people in the region where the usage was first derived, the reference to a wind or weather system, simply a Chinook, originally meant a warming wind from the ocean into the interior regions of the Pacific Northwest of the U USA. Hashtag get woke. Get woke on that Chinook. All right. All right. All right. Please, let's let's, please let's cut comms and get serious here. Let's play. Here's, here's the mission. PVE. All right. We've got helicopters. We're stationed in the Basar Air Base. Uh, we were waiting for resupplies, however, our uh, cargo planes dropped them in unfortunate positions. So they're going to appear one at a time. Uh, the first one is going to land somewhere in this forest uh, that'll appear after we start. Uh, and the second one, after, so, excuse me, we'll go get the first box and you have to bring it back to the green zone and marked at the Basara Air Base. The second box is going to appear somewhere in the northern forest, as that'll show up once we land it. Uh, and then we'll bring that one back to the green box as well. After we get everything back to the green box, we will have to defend the Basar Air Base from the marauding Russians who want our goodies. <laughs> Those my goodies. Russians. My goodies, yeah, not my goodies. Are they mad about the diplomat thing? Pirates coming. So, so, damn so Lucas, you can't <laughs> know... You don't know exactly where they're going to be. Yeah, obviously. Um, we got a general area, we got to defend. Uh, do we know when when we have to defend, are they just going to come across that that fjord? What is that called? Uh, uh, fjord is... Straight? Straight? No. Straight? No. Is that considered a straight? Yeah. No, it's a crossing, I guess? Sure. All right, but no. They, let... they, either way, answer is no. They no. will be coming from other okay. places as well. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, oh shit. So let's see. It looks like we have helicopters, but not many places to land them because forests are full of trees. Indeed. There are a all. few Good small point. landing places if you can maneuver them. For so, example, like that. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Those okay. circles. Those those look like about the only landing zones we have. Or you can There's you can absolutely one. land in the other places. You okay, do have so to ace carry the boxes back yep. and load them into the helicopter. All right, Mitten so. says I can maybe news. Pull, the, pull them under my uh, helicopter. Like, till, uh, all right, hang on. Let's cut comms and let Lucas make the plan. Right, so these are these are small carryable ones, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so you ace carry it. Uh, all right, so uh, I guess depending on where it lands, we're going to have to pick our LZ from there. Uh, obviously, we're gonna go for one box at a time, right? We're not gonna. Yeah, the, oh, it only shows up oh, one box. Yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna do any of that garbage. So uh, maybe the crossroads will be decent LZs. Um, tentatively, we'll kind of have to be be aware of that. But uh, how many fire teams do we? Can we get a bracket? Uh, could you not draw on the? Wow, Jesus Christ! You guys are artists. Based on the uh, inebriation <laughs> of your pilots, I would suggest the beach. Yeah, me too, but. Uh, how many fire teams do we have, Gector? I Anybody? believe two. Two and change. Two yeah. and change. Two, All right. Kading, and Sneaky. Or, there you go. Yeah. Uh, let's let's get radios down first. <coughs> yeah, no, I'm just an independent medic. <laughs> there you go, that's, uh, that's mine. If you're a fire team lead, put your radio down. Guys, why am I sitting here deleting shit off the map? Come on. Because the quality of CML Arm Ops is degraded greatly. Um, yeah, a quick reminder that uh, briefing is serious time. Thanks, Rekka. Yeah, so, Mittens is flying. Uh, everyone's going to be on the radio. Uh, who else do we have as a squad leader or fire team lead, sorry? Hasbrock. Ha yes, Hasbrock, besides Hasbrock. Burns. <laughs> All right, that's the Burns. Uh, so, we have yeah, two fire teams in change. And helicopters. So let's just theoretically say that the crate lands at like Hill 107. I'll delete that later. Uh, if that does happen, uh, I, I, like regardless of where the crate actually lands, I want uh, Burns on the north and Hasbrock on the south. 
and uh, command will be because I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna have to fight shit off first. Yeah, of course. But uh, you guys should all know how to break contact decently. So once we fought off the majority of it, we'll break contact in the direction of the uh, the nearest LZ, wherever that may be. And that's basically all I got. Is that keep in mind if you're in Burns Fire Team, you'll be to the north. If you're in Hasbrox, you'll be to the south. Obviously, you got like 180 sectors, so you're not just looking straight north. You're going to be looking northwest, northeast, and you know east and west as well. Basically, we're going to have to try to react to contact as we can. Uh, command will be with you on the crate, and we're going to be bouncing back and forth. Obviously, we have Draco, you're the medic, right? We're going to be uh, trying to help whatever side has the most contact, or for instance, if we're taking contact from like three directions. These are really bad arrows, but you <laughs> get the idea. Uh, <laughs> Um, command will be trying to you know help out wherever wherever we can uh, the best, but that's really all there is to it. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna get into it. Uh, we'll, we'll, do we get the marker before we get uh, out of the base, Gecker? Hey, so if you just stick around for like five minutes, because we'll need to get organized anyway, uh, right. <laughs> it'll show up. There will also be a large plume of smoke coming from it. Gotcha. Okay, so we will not leave until we get the first marker, just so we can kind of do a little bit of planning beforehand, before we go, you know, land somewhere, and then realize we have to trek 500 meters to get there, which will probably happen anyway. Oh, uh, is there any AA? We're expecting AA or vehicle contacts? Uh, light vehicle to medium vehicle, no Copy AA. That. So, um, okay, so no AA. Uh, pilots steer clear of BDRMs or BMPs or BDRs, whatever the fuck we encounter. Who are the pilots? Rick, uh, Rick Mittens Mendes. and... I think Mittens it's Mittens and who? Rick. Rick, yep. yeah. Is it? Yep. And then okay. if they crash, then it is no longer either of those. Are we gonna, are we gonna sort out who's going with who once we've loaded? Uh, Burns, Mittens... Has brought Rick and Command will also go with Rick. There you go. I think it was Z. Are you joining? Who's as well? the other pilot? It's Rick. Sure. Also, Mittens. Rick, why haven't you put in your call sign on the bracket yet? Hercules, are Hercules, you Hercules, drunk? Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. I don't know. Why aren't you Jabroni one? Oh god, we have the drunk pilot. Because I'm not <laughs> oh, <boy>. here <laughs> to lose. I'm here to win. But See, Mittens is a winner, to... and he wouldn't dare crash the helicopter. What do you want so... me to do for radio? 100 just? It. it... You don't need a radio, you're the only pilot. You just need to be on long range 50. Yep. No, I'm also a pilot. He's not the only pilot. Don't marginalize me. Mittens, don't marginalize my radio channel by stealing it. You. I'm not. Command. Pilots should be on the command short range. That, yeah, I'll allow it. <laughs> Alright, do we have any Sustained. questions <laughs> before um, we begin? Kading is in a fire team alone. Who would you like me to join up with? Uh, Join up with Command, because we only have three. Nope. Uh, we have a full Dagger, team, I think. Do we? Dagger's also alone. Uh, no, with. that's wrong. Other people must have left. Okay. okay. Yeah. Actually, if we've got no, two, hang on, hang on. If no, we've we got, got two we got, single players. We got them. Hang on. We got a lot of stragglers. Dagger, Pyrite, Kading, and Sneaky form a team. Okay, so we'll get a third fire team. So you guys will kind of be doing the same thing as Command. So we're still going to have Burns on the north, Hasbrock on the yeah. south. Do one of those um, guys have a long range? Probably not. Uh, probably. I can keep him one. Yeah, okay. just. I will exist one in the bean. Pirate so, will lead uh, it if you want. Uh, Pirate, will lead. Pirate, you're going to be basically doing the same thing I was describing earlier, where you will be bouncing back and forth between whatever team needs the most help. Uh, so, like, for instance, if we're defending objective, and, you know, we've got Burns on the north, Hasbrock on the south, and then we've got contacts coming in, like, southeast, you're going to be with Hasbrock as well. Or, you know, you're going to be east, watching east. Okay. Your, your close security on the crate. You're, yeah, you're basically just gonna like keep a 360, and wherever you see contacts, that's where you're gonna react. So you're gonna be the most mobile, which could be annoying. Um, obviously, priority is keeping your boys alive, no matter what fire team you're boys. in. Boys. Um, are we doing normal medical system? Or... Yes. <clears throat> so if you don't know what normal is, normal is the you can go down as much as you want. You have ten minutes before you bleed out and die. Pretty much don't separate yourself from the rest of the team and you should be okay or yeah. all don't clump up and get hit by an rpg in Trocata? yeah yeah, we are, yeah easier gone. said than done sir um if we are gonna do a close landing with trees and everything please call out if i'm not safe on the side and uh is are there gonna be hostiles at the landing zone possible possible depending the, I, yeah I depends on where you like yeah how close we land. we'll try to keep it within 200 meters uh 
depending on context. I don't really want to hike that far because then we'll have no stamina or whatever. Um, if we do get bogged down, we'll just have to deal with context as is. Once they're clear, we'll move on kind of like convoy style. Uh, obviously, keep your space, and you don't want to be within, like, I don't know, 5 to 10 meters of a guy, because if he eats an RPG, you eat the fragments that come out of his body. Yeah, yeah, I know. Delicious. Tasty. Right, so you're going to be uh, staying in the air, Rick, I think, right? Rick and Men's are going to be consistently pilots. You guys are really yeah, only going to land to pick up I and die. relocate us. Yeah. That's fine. So as far as I can remember, the enemies are wearing plain green camo. Yeah, Russian, right. EMR. Russian. Mm -hmm. What is plain green? Uh, that means that it's not, green. not camo. It's the opposite it's of fancy green. green. So it's, it's not, it's not that green. Okay, are we good to go? Yeah, I believe so.